Hello folks, uh, welcome to my first ever time in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. I'm right by KLCC Park, which stands for Kuala Lumpur City Centre. And look at this, I'm in the midst of so many buildings, so many condominiums, office towers. I didn't expect Kuala Lumpur to be this modern. It's amazing. Wow, look at this. Look at this tower right in front of me. Holy crap. And uh, just behind this building here, uh, which says East Town, we've got the famous Twin Tower Petronas. I'm not sure if I said that right, or is it Petronas Twin Towers? I think it's like that. I'm honestly gobsmacked by how beautiful Kuala Lumpur is. It's so clean, modern. Um, you can tell there's a lot of wealth here. I've seen so many fast, exotic cars. These twin towers, which are 452 meters tall, were once the tallest buildings in the world. However, they still stand as the tallest twin towers in the world. Now, the towers are identical in design and they consist of 88 floors. And the exterior of the building is mostly composed of glass and stainless steel. Hence why it stands out and shines so brightly amongst the skyline. And of course, there's the bridge that looks like it's situated midway up the towers that connects the two of them together. Anyway, so what do I have in store for today's video? As it's my first time in Malaysia and in Kuala Lumpur, I'm gonna be going on a small little walking tour, an itinerary that I've composed myself. And I'm starting off by the Twin Towers and in KLCC Park. And we're gonna have a small little walk around before we head to the next monument. And I gotta say, the park, and the city itself, it doesn't seem to be super congested. Like there's a lot of skyscrapers, a lot of condominiums, offices, but like on the street level, it doesn't seem super busy. And maybe that's because it's a weekday and the time is around about one or 2 p.m. So maybe everybody's in their offices. But uh, I was expecting it to be a lot more busier. And with that said, the population here in Malaysia is about 33 million people. So it's about the half the size of the UK population and about a third of the Philippines. So maybe that's why it feels a little bit more quiet in Malaysia and not over congested, which is really nice. Um, it makes the place feel a lot more breathable, bigger and open. And given it's a pretty clear, bright day today, it, the ambient temperatures aren't super boiling hot like they would be in Bangkok. The air in Kuala Lumpur seems relatively quite fresh. The humidity isn't crazy high. Now the bridge I'm currently standing on provides great views over the Twin Towers, but it's also a bridge that I passed underneath and where the pond or the fountain makes its way underneath the bridge over into this area too. I am super impressed by the overall design of this car and how well it's been maintained. There's a lot of details here where one can spend maybe an hour or two just walking around the park and taking it all in. Um, but I can't do that in today's video because that would probably bore a lot of people at home. There's like an abundance of different types of trees here. And this one caught my eye as well. Look, it looks like it belongs in like a Harry Potter movie. Uh, wait, are they cosplaying as Harry Potter or are they just graduated? Hello. Hi. Are you graduated? Oh, congratulations. <laughs> nice. This tree looks like it belongs in a horror movie or in a haunted forest. Watch out, the tree's gonna eat you. All right, I'm gonna quickly give you a close up of this fountain that runs through the middle of the park. It's always an amazing feeling to visit a brand new location that you feel completely lost in, but you're trying to figure it out bit by bit, step by step. See, the thing is, I don't know if this building behind me that says Surya KLCC is a mall or not, but if it is, then it's pretty conveniently located to the park. And uh, we're gonna go inside and see what there is to do in there. Wow, the immediate aroma when you enter the mall is the fragrance of perfumes, aftershaves, and then it opens up into this atrium here. Is it me or is this not a perfect circle? It's kind of like an oval. That trips me out. 
Well, it looks like this mall has it all, from your high-end luxury brands to your mass consumer brands. Okay, I've gone through the mall to emerge on the other side, which is literally at the foot of the Twin Towers. Uh, wow, I've not seen it from this perspective. Holy smokes, look at it. It looks even more impressive from this viewpoint. Wow, what is that? Holy crap. Look at this, what, you've got a Samsung, an iPhone, and then like three, four LED lights. Can you show me an example? If you take a photo, yeah, 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 yeah. How much do you charge for a photo? 20. 20 ringgit? Yes. Wow. Why, iPhone camera better than DSLR these days, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye -bye. Looks like people have ditched the DSLR and just going with smartphones and charging 20 ringgit for a picture. Anyway, the next monument I want to go to is called Minara Kuala Lumpur. Um, and I thought it would be a lot nearer because on the map it looks quite close, but it's about a 30 minute walk from where we are. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take public transport or if I'm going to get a grab or just walk there. Maybe I'll just walk there and take in the city views. Wow. What do you think guys? For me, I was not expecting Kuala Lumpur to be this modern and developed, clean and beautiful. It's blown expectations out the water. Look, even the street level, it's so quiet and nice. Even though there's cars on the side here, it's not like super loud. Now, one thing that I realized immediately as soon as I left the airport and got into my Grab taxi is that Malaysia has its own car company called Proton. Yes, it's a national car company that was started by the state and um, I believe it became privatized. I can't exactly remember what what year, but, but the government these days still owns a majority stake over it, only by 0.1 of a percent. I've not seen them elsewhere. I think they're only sold in Malaysia. I'm not sure if they're sold anywhere else in the world, um, but this is the first time I've ever seen them and there's an abundance of them. All the taxis seem to be these proton cars. is KL Tower which is a communication tower here in Kuala Lumpur and it stands at 421 meters and it features an observation deck that you can go up to and take in panoramic views of the city. All right I've made it to KL Tower but apparently you've got to take this shuttle bus yeah which will take us right to the foot of the tower where we can go up to the observation deck. Thank you, sir. Holy crap. Okay, we're making our way up the escalators to go inside the tower. And this is the queue for the ticket counter. Hmm, it's a bit long. Okay, we've almost made it to the ticketing booth, but I'm hearing, I'm overhearing bad news. I just want to confirm. Hello, uh, man. What's this thing that I'm hearing about uh, three hour waiting time? Uh, for your information, I just got You have a skybox Oh yeah, so yeah. it's like a cantilever that goes out, right? Yeah, for those kind of actually, it's lots of the people to enter. That's why waiting time is almost three hours, sir. Okay. So for the sky deck, no problem, sir. Only for the sky box, sir. Okay, so you can do the sky deck and the observation deck, no problem, yeah? Yes, no problem, but okay. the price will be same, sir. 59 ringgit, because this one is already cheaper, sir. Okay, sure, I'll just go with that then. For how many persons, sir? Uh, one person. Fine. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. Uh, UK. Okay. So I'm advised please go into the highest first because I'm worried about the weather. If ready, ticket cannot be refunded. Okay. So calling this one first, please let you go to the indoor. Eh? Okay, sure. Is the sky deck higher than this observation deck? Yes, sir. Because, uh, you can see from this photo, it's level 5, 394 meters. Okay. Oh. See at the red line in front of you. Okay, thank you. 30 minutes of waiting, we've got a ticket and we're now going to proceed through security. Uh, apparently we've got to be quick because it's about to start raining. And if it rains, we can't go out onto the observation deck, which is on level five. Thank you. 
So we're in the left side. Wait, has it already started raining? Hey. Nice mosaic pattern on the entrance here with Islamic inspiration. Oh, 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 which... The, okay, cool. Observation deck, sir? Yeah. Observation deck, yeah. You go to sky deck first. Um, well, it's gonna start raining, so I wanna go to the observation deck first. No, sky deck, sky deck, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, sky yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, my Even bad. you start raining after you, you can go down to observation. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Okay. Observation deck. Observation deck. Oh, observation deck. No, sky deck. <coughs> Why don't we? Uh... Yeah, sky deck. Okay, this way is it? Do 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 do. Yes. Number short box. Sky box number. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the Sky Deck, which is a open air observation deck. Oh wow! Look at this! Woo Holy smokes! You can see where it started raining over there. You can see that grey haze in the distance. Hopefully, it doesn't start raining here because then they're going to close the deck. But uh, we've made it just in the nick of time. And look at this! We've got a clear view over the Petronas Twin Towers and this other building here which I believe is even taller than that as the spire protrudes further than the two spires here. One, two, six, eight, sky box one. What a view it is from up here. You really do have unhindered views of the city and uh, you can almost walk around the entire observation deck. Now this is a skybox that they were referring to uh, where it's like a three hour queue and it's almost like a cantilever platform that stretches out where pretty much the floor and the barricades are all made from glass. Wow it looks like the rain is here as I'm already starting to feel droplets of rain. Whoops, we ain't got much longer. That tower there really sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, oh, this side of the observation deck, it's almost like the view is non-visible, look. Look at this. There's an incoming rainstorm. The skyline of Kuala Lumpur is super impressive. There's so many built up buildings. The sky is just dominated with offices and condominiums. For some reason, I got two tickets. I think one for Skybox 1 and the other one for Skybox 2, which I'm not going to be able to redeem because it started pouring. Danger, danger, hold your shit. Lightning! Oh my goodness. Wow, it started to pour. Oh, oh. Woo. Where's the air? Where, where, where? Woo! Oh, time. Look at the way it's pouring outside, guys. Oh. So I think I'm going to be stuck here at this observation deck until the rain stops. It's not a bad place to be stuck, especially when you've got skyline views over a city like this. Oh, displayed on the wall, we've got the tallest towers in the world. And it starts off from the smallest on this side, and it goes up to the left. And I believe the one we're in is this one here, the Minara Kuala Lumpur at 421 meters. But there are taller ones. The KL Tower is the seventh tallest in the world. And the tallest is in Tokyo. Wow, I've been there to one. And there are even coffee dispensaries, accessory shops that are located along the inner length of the wall. Our chocolate and almonds, holy crap, that looks so good. How much is that? 39, 29 ringgit. Looks good. Yeah, yeah, I'll try it. Oh. Is this, is this Malay or is this, uh, where is this from? Malaysia. Oh, it's a Malaysian snack, yeah? Yeah, from Malaysia. 99, wow. no sugar. 99 dark chocolate, is it? 
I don't really like dark chocolate. I like milk chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah. No, oh, that's better. That's better. <laughs> mm. That's fantastic. I like the tiramisu. This one is seventy percent, and this one is a dark chocolate with tiramisu. Oh wow! Okay. Not too sweet. Oh yeah, this is fantastic chocolate. Uh -huh. Oh, she's just giving me sample after sample after sample. I think I'm addicted. I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy a packet. Mm. That is so good. Okay, what, which one is this? Tiramisu is here, sir. you. Uh, this one is oh is this the one i had okay okay 25 which one's better though is this better than this or this one better really yes okay i'll buy one this one is not the tiramisu just a normal chocolate oh just normal chocolate yeah. okay chocolate and almond then let's try for the durian durian you yeah. have durian yeah i'll try the durian one okay i don't think you will like that but you can try yeah, it depends on what type of durian it is Oh, so oh wow. it's even, it. yeah, yeah, it's even closed off. Oh, wow, that looks good. Mmm, durian chocolate. Oh, it smells. Oh, yeah, that definitely tastes like durian, but bye. It's tasty, yeah. That's really good. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man, I just want to get one of everything. Thank you so much. There we are. Ahoy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Just got ourselves some tiramisu milk chocolate, which I'm now going to indulge on with the view. Oh, yeah. Let's see what they look like inside. Oh, wow. They're big circular balls. Look at that. Mm. Oh, good. You know, when I was living in Thailand, I heard that Malaysian snacks are very delicious. And Coming here to this observation tower, I'm gonna test that to be true. I'm really, really addictive. It's so good. Mm. Some of the best chocolate I've tried. Well, folks, I was planning to visit a nearby market and sample some Malay food, but it looks like I'm not gonna be able to as the weather is not permitting to do so. And so I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed my first day here in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, share it with friends and family, and I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and bye for now.